topics. Uh, Dr. Uh, Akojon, what do you think will look like uh, Cameroon politics in the absence of Frunzi, the person we're considering here as the champion of democracy? Yeah, um, Cameroon may. A lot of Cameroonians still think, uh, believe strongly that uh, Nijon Frunzi, the chairman, was the father of multipartism in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. A lot of equally Cameroonians have never known that there was once one guy they called Yondo Black and his group that were arrested and locked up others placed under house arrest before the coming of the same multipartisan and that Nijon Fundi becoming the opposition leader was a settled dust from the winds of wind of change that blew across Africa calling generally for democracy and multipartisan and that some of the leaders that the errors of Aijo were called to leave power and grant liberty of political power. One of it was a coming into force of the liberty laws of 1990. Within it, freedom of association, we equally have uh, religious worship, the right of women and girl child. Cameroon became a major player of the United Nations. We cannot doubt that. And so President Probia succumbed to change and told his party members that time has come and think very strongly that they are going to accept some political parties, the position that has existed in Cameroon before 1966. And multipartism was there on the eve of Cameroon independence and even few years after. But still manipulated by the French and to maintain single people in power, the CNU was created. And many other people lose grounds, as we can see on the registration letters written to the President of the Republic by uh, John Gufoncha. A lot of that that had changed. Nick John Fully came to answer the plight of many Cameroonians that we had a possibility of seeing another head out of that of the head of state and that somebody to talk politics. Then the slogan used was power to the people. Power to the people that shook a lot of villages, towns and cities in Cameroon. And any time when Nijon Fully is taken on the rostrum, it is always believed like there is a wind that has blown across. And people were thinking that the spirit he had was coming from India. Some people thought that he has used a lot of grass from Oku and other than Anglophones that New John Fundy was not natural. That indicates the spirit of change that people expected in Cameroon where real power became supernatural power. And so New John Fundy controlled the mind of each and every Cameroonian and everybody thought and still believed that he was the force, the force to reckon with the forces in Yaoundé. That people were thinking that even though the ruling and sitting president has his own occultic and juju house, the one of Nijon Fundi at the time could speak better and control more parts in Cameroon. So he won a lot of grounds, not only as people later put it on to relegate to the position of, as they call it, Bameda Party, it was a national party through the image of one and single individual, Nijon Fundi. To what extent that has been, many others have said he was a great man at the time when the sun was shining for that party but to how long to what extent such strength could last we've seen many that Nijon Fudi refused going to elections um a call parliamentary elections in the 1992 was one of the greatest blow that party has suffered because if you have to be in parliament you need to direct the laws and vote laws that will favor you and those that doesn't favor you you scare them off or stand against them that was a period president probably used to cement himself more in power what becomes intimidations of those who were of Fundi's camp, telling them that your village, your town, your headquarters will not receive development until you become members of the CPDM. And so the Nijon stronghold of Santa became a divided option of a Chudi party's camp and the Nijon Fundi camp. And so the Bamenda, so the Mamfi, so the Southwest region, so towards Douala and many other regions suffered the impact of not abandoning the party, absconding the party to align with the ruling party. SPF <coughs> has suffered a lot, as many equally thought that the chairman, Nijon Fundi, was too old enough to continue as the chairman of that party. Continued resistance caused a lot to form their own small parties that were now to negotiate with the powers in Yaoundé for their own personal interests. Okay. The divided option of the SDF has left the party today with no option until the death of the chairman without having a possible new chairman of the party the SDF chairman died and left the party without a father, without a mother, who will conduct the new movement to what extent the new generation will abide with whosoever become the new leader of the party.
particular party. Does it mean that the democracy he cried for and plighted for died and left the party as he left the stage? This is a question many Cameroonians think that the president, Nijon Fried or chairman, failed in guaranteeing democracy in the same race he fought for. All right.